Hello everyone, um, in this episode it's all about the brakes. So when it comes to racing with the HSCC in the 70s road sports, basically your car's got to be pretty standard as far as sort of factory. So when it comes to the brakes, you're not allowed to do anything but different types of pads. So calipers need to be the originals and the actual disc type. So I can't change from a solid disc to like a ventilated disc, anything like that. Um, so actually replacing the brakes for the start of the season is a pretty cheap job on one of these cars. What we've got, these are the discs. So they're TR6, Triumph TR6 discs. Um, so they're just a solid, not grooved, not drilled or anything. Set of those discs, less than 50 quid. Uh, what we can do um, is brake pads, you get almost free reign on what you can use. Through trial and error over the years, I, I really rate uh, Carbon Lorraine brakes. Um, they're not really a road going pad because they're like a, I think they're a sintered metal. So they're pretty chunky. Um, the bite point on them is fantastic, like from cold. Um, mine squeal like hell, which is a bit of a problem, but um, gripping power is mega. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, jack up the car. We'll work on this side first and just so show you a bit of the assembly. Ah, they're so, so simple on the front of these cars. Um, it should be, fingers crossed, a nice easy job. So first of all, I'll uh, jack it up, get the wheel off and go from there. Okay, so you can see it's a uh, big, just single pot uh, calipers on there. Uh, discs don't look too bad, but for the I've run those for two years now. Um, small wheel spacer on the front, which is just to suit the offset for, for the wheels that I'm running. Um, so all I need to do is basically um, take the cap off the end here, take that cap off, undo the nut, take the caliper, just unbolt that off its mounting. And then that assembly will just come off. Uh, it gives me a chance to uh, grease the bearing inside as well. Okay, um, I've started taking the brakes off. Um, I was going to change them, thinking that they were a bit more warm than they were, but I've just taken the pads out. And if you have a look at that. So, they're the pads, still plenty of meat on them. In you know, comparing it to the new ones here, I've probably used half, maybe a bit less than half. Um, I mean, I've raced with those for what, a year and a half, something like that. Um, crazy, really. Must be doing something wrong. Um, so I'm not actually going to change those because there's that much life left in them. Um, the last race of the braking was excellent, so I've got no concerns there. So all I'm going to do while this is off, I'll keep those discs. Um, I'll take the assembly off though and just re-grease the bearings ready for, for another season. But actually this side's fine. Um, and presumably the other side's the same because what I can also see is that both the pads are wearing really quite nicely sort of evenly so it means the, the pistons on this caliper are also sort of a, applying pressure nicely from each side so um, if it ain't broke don't fix it okay just got the caliper off so you can see they're a pretty big caliper but again they're just uh, TR6 um, Goodridge brake hoses are mint um, there's quite a lot of flexibility in them so I don't need to release any fluid out of the brake lines I can just pop it up 
on the top just out of the way a bit really and then uh, I can just get this disc off now. Okay you can see on here so that's with the dust cap off the end and you've got sort of a, a nut that holds it on but you know it's all the sort of um, gaps in there that's because you actually have like a locking pin that goes through to stop it winding off because these are not done up tight they're like a hand tight so when you're first putting a new bearing in I tend to sort of just very loosely tighten it up um, you know using a socket but then I'll wind it off and you just literally do it up so it's hand tight and make sure you've not really got much end flow but you don't want to put too much pressure on those bearings otherwise uh, they'll, they'll just overheat and burn out so quickly this has still got a good amount of grease on the outside so it doesn't look like it's overheated too much uh, but I'll take that nut off now and the whole disc assembly will just come off okay this is with the assembly off so you see you've basically just got a um, shaft coming out and what I'm tending to just have a little look for is any sort of wear, too much wear on the actual shaft, see if there's any scoring on there, looks to be sort of running all right. Um, and again at this end, just see how that's been sort of running on the actual shaft. Um, that there, that's the outer bearing, the other bearing, the other side of it is actually in the caliper itself, uh, in the disc uh, assembly itself, sort of at the back. So these bolts are what you do to take the disc off. I don't need to, the back of this still looks actually really good. Um, so I'll just sort of rub it down a little bit before I put it back on. But there's plenty of um, grease on there still, so it looks like it's running all right. But I'll just um, top it up, put the disc back on. Okay, that's the assembly all back together. Um, so just the other side to do now. Um, remember, once you've got it all back together, test the brakes before you go out driving. The pistons will change and it'll give you a shock the first time you try and stop. Right, just on the second side, um, it's pretty good actually. Exactly the same as the first one where the, the pads have still got half the life left in them still. Discs are good. So I've just stripped down the um, hub assembly just to sort of re-grease it all but that's all now sort of back together um, I put a little bit of um, copper grease just on the back of the brake pad to try and stop them squealing as much um, so we'll see what that's like um, but basically that's it for the front assembly so uh, now it's the rears Okay, uh, rears are a bit different, um, it's quite a strange setup on the Vixens actually, um, it's not discs, it's drums, TR6 still, uh, so it's TR6 front discs, TR6 rear drums, difference with the Vixen is it has twin rear shocks, so you can see under here, behind there, um, it's got two shock mounts, now some people that race they actually just have a single shock, I just kept it like factory, twin shocks, um, quite low pound um, springs on there. Uh, I think it handles good. Um, I suppose having one shock you'd save a bit of weight. But um, So on the drums, all I'm going to do, these hardly use sort of um, anything really over the course of a season. So I'm just going to uh, take the drum off, see what the um, sort of shoes are like on the inside. Uh, give it a bit of a clean and put it back together. So seeing here, you've got get the light on there. Um, two shoes just with a single piston. Um, and as you can see, I mean, God, you've got loads, loads on them still. So I'll just give it a bit of a brake clean. Um, and drum can go straight back on. And all I'll do while the car's up, we'll do a little bit of a spanner check around just to make sure everything's all right. Um, and go from there with it. 
Uh, I've checked both drums now, so the only thing I need to do is drum, the drum brakes, they don't self-adjust, which is pretty naff. Um, so there's actually an adjustment on the back of the hub which just starts pushing the um, sort of the, the shoes closer to it. So I set it with this, which is um, my own little bent spanner. Uh, and this, you just tighten it just so it's starting to grip the drum and then that's probably just about right, right for when you actually start doing it. So I'm gonna go uh, do it on this side because this is the last side to do. Um, and after that, I can get the car back on the floor and know that all the brakes are ready for the next race. Okay, that's it for the brakes, all done. Um, so it's ready, um, I'm hoping I'll we'll have an engine for here uh, this week. Uh, so that'll be the next video. The only other thing I've done is I've um, got the rear screen back in. Um, so all I need to do is a little bit of painting on the back uh, and the back's all good. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and I'll uh, see you soon.